my name is Pastor David Ballard. I'd like to welcome you to another segment of Bethel's Bread. Today we're going to be in Luke chapter 24. We're going to start in verse 17. And the Bible says, And he said unto them, What manner of communications are these that ye have one to another as you walk and are sad? And the one of them, whose name was Cleopas, answering, said unto him, Art thou only a stranger in Jerusalem, and hast not known the things which are come to pass in these last days? And he said this concerning Jesus of Nazareth. What they didn't know is this was Jesus walking with them. Jesus had risen and he was walking with them. He walked with them about eight miles. And the Bible says in verse 27 of Luke chapter 24, beginning at Moses and all the prophets, he expounded unto them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. Jesus walked with them for eight miles. Two men walked with them for eight miles and he expounded unto them all the scriptures concerning himself. I believe Jesus at this time was a pretty busy fella. He was saving the whole world. He had risen again, and he took the time to not stand in front of 5,000 or 10,000 or 20,000 people, which wouldn't surprise me at all. I mean, the greatest thing in the whole wide world that is ever going to happen happened right at that moment. And these two men were walking and were sad because they had seen Jesus Christ crucified. Jesus then came and showed himself unto them. Now, he didn't let him know who he was at first, but he expounded everything in the scriptures about himself. My thing for this morning is this. If he had time enough for these two, he certainly has time enough for you. He wants to expound all these things unto you. He wants you to get in your Bibles and read about him. And Jesus Christ did all these wondrous things for us. He did all these wondrous things for Cleopas, walking with him, the greatest Sunday school ever happened were all of this eight mile walk with these two wonderful men. And I guarantee you that if he took the time enough for them in the midst of his busy, busy uh, saving of the world, I certainly believe he'd have time enough for you in your dilemma, in your need, in your time of prayer, in your time of Bible reading. Jesus Christ loves you very much. The Bible says, his thoughts towards you are precious because he loves you. And there's so many of the thoughts that he has. They're more in number than the sand. What a great promise we have that Jesus Christ took the time enough for these two. He will certainly take time for you. What a great God we have. I hope this blesses you today. This has been another segment of Bethel's Bread. And I'm Pastor David Ballard. I hope you have a great day.